I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my reading for you for this week for the May 22nd Virgo and we do have a new moon this week in your career zone. Okay, I like this very much, particularly as Mars is in there. So we've got the sun, the moon and Mars. So Mars is like the motivator. It's the trigger that gets things through. It puts them into action, stops you procrastinating um, and or sitting on the fence about things. So with the new moon there, it's an indication that something new is it can either start um, you can get a new proposition or there's a sense of, okay, uh, you know, things are starting to move forward again, you know, like they're not sort of stagnant. So um, I like this very much and right opposite your sign with Neptune there, slow moving planet there for a while. Uh, has a very nice connection with Mercury, your ruling planet, and this helps you get your plans together for the future. So when I look at that and take the new moon into account, then be prepared to change direction a little bit. Now, you know, even the goals that we did last week, you know, or certainly last month or last year or five years ago, I mean, we're changing all the time. Circumstances are changing all the time. So we want to, our navigation needs to change as well, um, even if a little bit to, you know, to keep tweaking it. Um, and so, you know, you want to just have a look at that. Be prepared to change direction ever so slightly if it calls for it, because something better. Um, I'm only saying this to you, Virgo, because of Virgo lies to get your plan in place. You like to stick to it. You don't like to deviate. You don't like anyone else deviating from it. Um, but, you know, there can be just a small sort of deviation can be, I'm not sure if that's right, the word, um, about a small course alteration, let's say, <laughs> uh, can just help you stay on the right track. Now, there is a, a connection between Venus and Pluto uh, this week, and if it's anything to do with money, and particularly if you're not totally in control of it, then you want to just you know, stay in the loop um, and, you know, make sure you know what's going on, okay, and, you know, get the information that you need, even if you do have to demand it, okay, so sometimes it's the squeaky wheel that gets the attention, if you stand back or, you know, sit in the back store and do nothing, well, guess what, people don't think that they need to, um, you know, Bring you up to date. I mean, whether it's business or personal, uh, you know, we we teach people how to treat us. Okay, so um, it's up to you to keep that in mind and take a stand if you need be. Now, the card I've selected for you this week. I'm doing the readings together as I'm having trouble with my green screen, as you can see. Okay, so I've got the chariot. I love this card <clears throat> because it's really the chariot is take action, move forward. But there's a black and a, and a white, um, you know, sphinx at the start of the chariot. So that can indicate that um, you, you've got a crossroads. What way are you going to go? Okay, and this really ties into the be prepared to do a course alteration. Uh, and, it's, uh, it, and it comes up, you know, it's in the card I selected for you and in your stars and uh, it comes up as a positive, a positive thing, all right? Okay, so love and luck to you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.